What's going on everybody? Nick here from RC Crawlers. Just talking about these two SCX 24s I got here. Awesome little cars. This one is the version two, version one. And there's a couple little things done to both of them. So this guy here, uh, Enjora high clearance, trio wheels. I want to say Amazon Waits. Uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires. Took the foam out. Uh, oh. Emax Servo. Trail weighted diff cover. I think that's about it for this one. And I got this one was the first one I got. Oh, actually, trio weighted hubs too. Back in there, you see them. That one's a little nicer. This one's a little more Frankenstein. So, Proline Hyrax tires, the plastic wheel here. The, I think that might be an Amazon diff cover on the back. This one's still plastic. Um, Jora Servo Horn Emacs. Oh, hot Racing Steering. Uh, hot, oh, yeah, Racing Knuckles. Then Jora High Clearance Links. Jora Motor. What is that? I think it's like. 60 turn or something, I'm not sure. 66 turn, there we go. Battery relocated to the servo mount. I mean the uh, ESC and receiver. ESC and receiver mounted on a piece of cardboard behind it with some putty to stop it from sliding around. Pretty nice little cars. Um, just just got into them recently, so we'll see how it takes off. So now that we've seen a little bit about these two guys, oh, <laughs> hot racing uh, long travels up here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep those. Taking them off, put them back on a few times. It's 50/50. So we're gonna throw some batteries in these guys. And go hit the obstacle course. Before we hit the obstacle course, I figured let's weigh these bad boys. Both of them, no battery. The Jeep has four um, wheel weights and metal wheels, so should be a little heavier. This one just has a bit more forward bias to the weight, which, I don't know, these tires seem to do really good. I liked these uh, Proline high racks, but these uh, Goodyear Wranglers without the foam. Could be in for a treat. So let's see what we got for weight here. Seems to be right at 299, 300. I wish I had a stock one to weigh. 326, 325, yeah. I, I wanna say those wheel weights are about 14 grams, which everything else is generally the same between the two. So all right, off to the obstacle course. All right, here we got RC Crawler Test Park V1 Indoors. I got the Jeep on right now. A good tip for the uh, version two ESC and receiver there. If you turn the truck on and then the receiver pairs a lot faster or the truck then the transmitter pairs a lot faster um let's see what we can do here it's an untested course i just kind of threw some stuff but i see some good lines Oh yeah. Did 
Those Goodyear Wranglers are super grippy. You can hear the every finger on the tire right there biting in. A little bit of a predicament here. Uh oh. I think we're gonna roll. Yeah. Oh, that's no, we didn't. This is super scale stuff here. We did not roll over. Get a little bit of a different angle. Hit it from this side. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just a monster. So I actually got this one second after the uh the chevy planned on kind of keeping this one a little more stock but that didn't happen now this one's kind of more tried and tested by other people mods whereas the chevy i'm kind of just winging stuff at it seeing what happens if it works cool if it doesn't i'll uh, just change it back to whatever was prior a little more Frankenstein, like I said. Yeah, this Jeep. It is awesome. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't really tell from the two flip overs it's already had, but you gotta believe me. You gotta. Get right in on that sucker. See if we can get some tire deforming. And version two ESC, I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't even consider going brushless with it right now. It's so smooth and slow. All right, now we're gonna hit up the action park with uh, the Chevy here. One of the nice things about the way I did this is it still retains turning it on without pulling the body off. Turn that guy on. All right, let's see how she does. I do see that the Jeep has a little bit better front approach angle. But the C10 has, it's got the rear diff cover weighted also, and as opposed to the Jeep's plastic one. I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference, to be honest. They both have the Emax servo, so they both steer much better now. Just had to do a little restart there. Just had to do a little restart there. We're a little stuck on the approach ramp. That's all right. Let's see if we can't do the high line now. That Enjora motor, definitely a little more torque, but has a little bit of a bind somewhere in the drivetrain. I haven't been able to find it. I've kind of pulled it all, all the way apart, but it still does it no matter what part I change. So it's fine. Like I said, the Jeep has a little bit better approach angle there. 
Same size tires, so it's just the body at that point. But C10 is holding strong. On to the next part here. Oh, right into the pothole. Writes itself though. Come on, come on, dig yourself out. Doesn't help having all that weight in the front when it sinks down like that. There we go. These SCX 24s, they're so fun to play with inside. You just throw some blankets and random stuff down, and there you go, you got a course. You really like changing up? Well, Go fluff the blankets, throw a pillow or two down. There you go, there's another course. It's awesome. Look at the articulation on that thing. And on days when you can't get outside to do a little crawling with your uh, tenth scales, it is so much fun. Maybe we'll line up a couple side by sides and see which one really outperforms which one. I think the Jeep is going to take the cake on most of them though. Let's find out. All right, we got the slippery wall of doom set up here. Got my, uh, my phone, let's see what the angle is. It says 50 degrees. You're gonna have to trust me. Let's see which one does better. I think the soft tires on the Jeep are really gonna help it here. We'll take it nice and slow. If we have to bump up any of them, we will, but preferably I wanna crawl it. Oh yeah, the Jeep just made it look easy. Oh, oh, starting to lift that front. It's really close to the tipping point there. <laughs> it wants to go. See if we can't set it a little better in the groove there. Come on, yes. Those Goodyear tires are really biting in there, but they just cannot get it. We'll bump it, but I might, I might toss it over if I bump it. Nope. No, it's going. Oh, a little too far. Mm, now we're just getting a little reckless. Let's see if we can't. There we go. And the Jeep does it. Nice controlled descent. Alright. Now. Let's see if we can't do the same with the C10. I do like the C10 a little more. Just because it was the first one I got. But 
Obviously, that's just a preference. The Jeep does seem to be doing a little bit in performance now. Might take the pr the foam out of these high racks too. Might be worth it. Those Jeep tires, man, they they just form to everything. And they don't crush under the weight of the truck too bad, I've noticed, so. Remember, this truck does have the battery located further forward too. That might be a test I'm gonna run in a minute here. I might put the Goodyear's with the teal wheel, trio wheels on here. See if that doesn't get her up the hill. Let's try that out. I figured while we're at it, why don't we weigh these wheels too? See what the difference is, right? So, these are off the C10. I forget what kind of wheels these are. I forget. Pretty easy to put together though. Just those four screws there, pinched it nice. Worked good on these tires. They came pre-mounted on these plastic ones I'm gonna pop off here in a sec. Um, downside of these, with these four bolts here, you can't really put many wheel weights in there. With the trail ones, the wheel weights fit in nicely. The weights that fit behind the stock wheel too, so if you wanna progressively upgrade your car, there you go. You know, a little, maybe wheels and tires one week, maybe wheel weights and some other parts another week. Whatever you like. So, there we go. Style two that we're gonna weigh. Pop one off the Jeep here. They don't have the foams in them. I don't know how that really makes a difference. We can weigh a foam too. If I can find it. So we'll do it with and without the weight to see all options. So let's turn this guy on. First up, we'll go stock, Proline, Hyrax, pre-mounted plastic, yada yada. 11 grams, not bad. And we got the Proline Hyrax on these aluminum beadlock. Don't remember what kind of brand it is. Ooh, 31, 32. So now like a 20, 21 gram difference. And then first up in the way that it's run, I guess it doesn't matter. 30, 29, so right at and about what that is. And then 20, so yeah, this is a uh, 11 gram weight. Nine gram weight. There you go. Nine gram weight. You can obviously uh, throw brass hexes on and all that, but uh, this I gotta figure out something for more articulation with this. Maybe some flex plates. Change up the geometry and the spring rate. It's a work in progress. Let's change these tires and go back to the uh, wall of death there. See if that's the difference we needed. All right, we got a new battery in the Chevy. That Emax servo is screaming away. I can tell it's ready to go. Let's hit it. Come on, don't let me down. Over the first little bump, no problem. These tires are doing their job, using those little nubs. All right, so here we got a little bit of a double thing. Back tires are on a lip. The front tires are about to go over. I think we can get it. I'm kind of in a bad spot here, but maybe a reposition and a and a yeah. Ooh, I saw the back tire fold there, so maybe that is a case where the foam would have helped. Hear those rubbers eating. They are folding a little bit. Of 
question is, do I want to take off 16 little screws to put foam in for a test? Ooh, that's a lot of work. Oh, oh maybe let's give it a bump. It's like a medium bump, not a big one. Oh, and it's up. The Chevy with the B-Lock, guys. You know, it's, it's still not as good as the Jeep. I gotta say, the Jeep kind of made it a little easier, but... Do it one more time with the Jeep, just to, just for verifications here. All right, so there it is, stuck on that first little, that first little nip on the back tire. Not much weight over the back end of these things at this point, so it's understandable. The foam. High racks with the foam. And they're struggling a little too there. Jiggle it over to the side again. And I'd say the Jeep does a little better. Regardless of tires or whatever. All right, so we're back at the wall of doom here. We got the uh, the Goodyear switched over onto the C10 and the Hyraxes assorted wheels mounted back on the Jeep. Let's see if it makes a difference. We'll start out with the Jeep. It did better last time. I have a suspicion that it was due to the tires, but I guess we'll find out. Right off the bat, I believe this is where the, the uh, C10 got hung up last time. We'll pull back a little bit further here. Oh, oh, a little bump. Oh, it's, it's close to tipping, but hey, there she goes. We'll give it another shot. Driver error. It's doable. All right. Jeep makes it again. Now let me see if I can do it a little bit better with a shot. It's a strong bump. And once it's up onto the fabric, you're good. Getting over those those last couple humps is usually tough. Alright, so maybe the Jeep is just better overall. Let's see. C10's turn now. Let's see if I can't frame that up a little better. Alright. Here we go, C10 with the good years. And the trail wheels and the wheel weights, blah, blah, blah. Easy peasy. Oh, all right, I'm gonna use that as a little break point to adjust the shot. It does look a lot better, I'll say that. Ooh, not so lucky. Let me get it right back up there again. Not so good that time. This does have the rear axle weight, ah, uh, rear diff cover weighted too. Maybe giving it a little too much in the back and not enough front bias to, to pull it. This might be one of those cases where an uh, overdrive or an underdrive would help, but I don't know. Come on, C10. Alright, one more try. Oh. 
Let me grab our juice. Pause for a second. Let me change the battery and get right back to you.